Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Anthony Crefasi of Colorado Natural Medicine and in this video we're going to be going over the laboratory kit instructions for the GI MAP test, the GI Microbial Assay Profile from Diagnostic Solutions Laboratory. So this is the DNA stool test that we use that gives us a lot of information. Okay. So first things first, we always want to make sure we have the box, the correct box. This is what it's going to look like. It will say GI MAP on the bottom. Okay, on both sides actually. All right. So I always want to open the box, right? Make sure we have all the contents inside of the box that we need. First thing that you're going to find is a requisition form. It will look like this. Okay. You're going to fill out your name, date of birth, information here. We will give you instructions on this. Pretty straightforward as well. Okay. So that's the requisition form. We do not need this right now. Second thing you're going to find is a biohazard bag with some stuff in it, which we're going to go over in just a second. You also are going to find a uh, kind of a hot dog tray looking thing. I don't want this to ruin hot dogs for you, but that's what it looks like, okay? And then you are going to find a FedEx bag, and it's just the bag and nothing else is here, okay? So we're going to close this up just so you can see that is all the contents that you should have inside of the box. There's nothing else in the box. So we're going to put this FedEx bag inside the box for now. And we have the requisition form, the tray, and then the bag. Now, first thing is that we want to go over what's inside this bag here. You're going to have an absorbent pad, which you can leave inside the bag. For now, we're going to show you. We're going to take that out. You're going to find a set of gloves, okay? And for this entire thing, you're going to want to do these with the gloves on, okay? So you have a set of gloves, two of them here. You're going to want to put these gloves on before you do this because we don't want any contamination of the sample. Okay, any contamination of the sample and the lab may have to redo it and we're going to have, uh, you know, it's a whole process. The next thing you're going to find is a little vial. It has an orange top and it has red liquid inside if you can see that, okay? It'll say Parapac CNS on it, okay? So that's what it says. Okay, now what I recommend doing is as soon as you open this, the first thing I want you to do is fill out, put out your name and date of birth on this vial right there. If the laboratory receives this information without your name and date of birth, they will not know who the sample is for. They may reject the, the sample. We may have to do it again. This isn't the most enjoyable test sometimes to do, so we want to make sure that we get it done the first time and correct. Okay, so that you have a vial the absorbent pad, and then we have some instructions here on this side of the kit, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the absorbent pad back into the bag, okay, and you can just leave it there. So what you're going to do, and we're gonna talk about these instructions in a minute. Again, you're gonna do this with the gloves on. Here's the requisition, we'll put this over here. So, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna perform the stool sample inside of this tray here. Okay, once the stool sample is performed and before the stool sample is performed, you want to avoid all urine. So avoid all urine before you do the stool sample. Then perform the stool in this tray. Then what you're going to do is you're going to, again, with the gloves on always, I don't want to put these gloves on because we use these kits, you're going to take this vial, okay? And inside of this vial, if you open it up, you will see that there is a small little spoon with almost prawn-like things on the end, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to take, once you perform the stool inside of this tray, you're going to open this up and you're going to take this little spoon and you're going to take samples from the stool and you're going to put it into here. You're gonna stir it and then you're going to shake it for 30 seconds, okay? So put the samples, you're going to take this, take samples from the stool, put it into the vial, you're going to shake it for 30 seconds. Now there's a red line right there on the front, okay? And it says add specimen to this line. You don't want to put stool to fill it up past that line. So it's just a little bit of amount of stool until um, you get to that line. You don't want to go past that line. Again, we want to make sure we follow all these directions to a T so we don't have to redo the sample. Okay, 
So once you do that, shake it for 30 seconds. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take this right away. You're going to put this back into the bag with that absorbent pad. And if you're shipping it that day, you can put it right inside of the UPS bag, take it to UPS, and ship it. If you're going to ship it the next day, I recommend putting it in the refrigerator until the next day and then ship it. So that is, so you're just going to look like this. Again, the gloves will be done. You can put the gloves away. Stool will be done. And we have the requisition form we're going to put there. And then you're going to fold this up, put this all inside of the bag here, the UPS bag, which we're going to talk about. Now, the stool instructions are listed here, okay? And again, if you get confused, this video is for educational purposes so that you understand. But the stool instructions are here. In addition, okay, there are two ways that you can ship this stool kit, okay? So the stool test, it's, it's relatively straightforward. There's two ways you can ship it. You can either have FedEx come to your home and pick it up. <clears throat> if you choose to do this, this will be on the third page, so right here, and you'll find information for FedEx to come pick it up. You're gonna put everything in this prepaid shipping bag from FedEx, it's all prepaid, so you just ship it out to Diagnostic Solutions, they will know where it's coming from. So you can either have FedEx come to get you, or you can drop it off yourself. Now. I honestly recommend you going and this is all the stuff and that's it. I recommend going and dropping this off yourself. You know, when we're finishing these, these um, laboratory tests, we wanna make sure that we're getting the most accurate sample. So with the different um, shipping times, etc., we wanna make sure that just in case FedEx is late or they don't get something shipped out, you wanna make sure that you get this in on time. So I recommend going to FedEx yourself dropping it off and making sure that it gets shipped properly. So again, this is the stool test. The This is going in here as well. Let me put those gloves back in. So this is the stool test from Diagnostic Solutions Laboratory, the GI map test. Okay, again, the box looks like this. And this test is absolutely phenomenal. It uses a DNA PCR method or polymerase chain reaction, looking at not just a positive or negative, but also a detected or very low amounts to actually understand whether there's a true issue going on or a full-blown infection um, from bacteria, viruses, yeast, parasites, fungi, you name it, along with good digestive function and good immune function within the gut. So GI map test instructions, Hope this video helps you. Again, I'm Dr. Anthony Crafasi from Colorado Natural Medicine. Have a great day.